That's a good looking hat rag. What are these things for sale? See no price tag on it. Just what I've been looking for. Okay, I've got the shape cut out. I cut this out with a jigsaw. And now I'm going to go around the edges. I already took the rasp to it. Label everything up with the jigsaw to label. Now what's going to happen next is when this is cleaned up, the other three, and there's going to be four of these, will not be cleaned up this way and uh, it will not be uh, cut to the line with the jigsaw but be cut close to the line and then a router with a flush trim bit will finish it up and make them uh, the exact same size easier that way and then I'll just clean up and I'll just do the flush trim bit will ride right on this one here. There's whatever imperfections are on this one, that bear is going to fall. I'm not trying for any kind of perfection. It's going to do that. Nonsense. Nothing. Nothing in this world's purpose. Looks good. Looks good. I'm going to keep overdoing something. That people saying something to death. Don't have to do that. People stand and saying something with 80 grit, 40 grit, 60 grit, 80 grit, 120, 220, 320, 480, 600, 650, 800, 900,000, 10,000, 30,000, 16,000, all the way up to a million grit sandpaper. Smooth this out with a 40 grit piece of sandpaper. Lay the sander on its back, belt sander on its back so it don't have all that pressure on it. Smooth this right up with a 40 grit belt. Take about a 120 on it, you're fine. If you want to go higher than that, 220. But anytime you're saying something, you wet it with any kind of finish, all that sanding you did, it's done for. You're going to lose about 65-70% of that sanding done because that wet finish is going to bring those fibers back out. And then you're going to end up doing the light sanding again on it, smooth it right back up a second time. So you don't learn, don't learn from people that don't know nothing. Those self-taught people. The same kind of people that says, uh, the same kind of people that say that uh, a biscuit in the joint adds no strength. Now how in the hell can putting a piece of wood in something, adding a piece of wood in something not add strength? Of course it's going to add strength. You can put a damn toothpick in between two pieces of wood, like a dowel, and, and it's and that's going to add strength. Anything that you put into one piece of wood and into another piece of wood and jam it together inside is going to add strength. That may be one pound of strength, two pounds of strength, three pounds of strength. The more biscuits you use, the more dowels you use, the stronger it's going to get because you're adding wood to it. So you've got these one to be little boys that think they're men because they can grow a beard trying to teach people all this nonsense about a biscuit not adding strength but they got no damn sense that they're stupid so you go to people you go to the old timers the ones that really know woodworking the ones that don't teach themselves the ones that actually go to school and learn and learn from each other and other people they don't listen to these self-taught self-taught people I never self-taught myself to work. I went to school and learned woodworking. 
and I didn't know him to go to school to learn woodworking and was all in my family tree on both sides. I went and asked old timers, any time I wanted to know something about woodworking, I would go ask a young person, I'd find the oldest woodworker I could find and talk to them. Because they got the experience, they know. I was talking to an 86 year old woodworker. And I brought it up, what do you think about biscuit? People saying biscuits don't add strength to a piece of wood. But he busted out laughing. He said that's like holding one straw or one little stick of wood in your hand. You can break it. If you add two, it gets stronger. If you add three, it gets stronger. Pretty soon you can't break it. Look at this. Put a biscuit in there. See? It adds strength. Put another biscuit in there. It's two of them. It's even stronger. Put another biscuit in there. You got three of them. It's even stronger than that. So every time you're adding that, you're trying to bend that. You got a piece of wood here and a piece of wood here, and you're trying to bend that. And that biscuit's in there. You can't bend that because it's adding strength. You take those biscuits away and just use glue and pop it right loose. But you put those biscuits in there, that's strength. You add a whole big bunch of them biscuits all the way down your board. Put your board together, and then you ain't, you ain't, that, you ain't breaking it. So. Now I pretty much got this finished. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. This little bit I want to do here and here. I'll do that. I'll do that when I turn the camera off. But this is pretty much the way I want it. I remember what? And anyway, this is it for now. I'll run the router. I'll cut the other ones out tomorrow, close to the line. Put a flush flush cream router on it with a bearing, get the other three cut out and uh, get the mortise in it and uh, get this uh, glued down, get this part glued down into the project. Uh, after that, you know, I'll work uh, the holders for the hats on the hat rack and then uh, get that done and then uh, get them mortised. And then the uh, next step after that is uh, smoothing it up some, not too much, and then uh, painting it. I'm not, not, not going to sand it too much because I'm putting enamel paint on it. And then that'll be it. Cutting the mortises in this, these are going to be through mortises. They're going to go all the way through both sides. widen it a little still using this and flip it and do these other sides and that's all there is to it. When you get to a point like this extra space on a piece of wood a wood rasp very quickly take care of this. So 
you're working with wood and you don't have a wood rack, get one. Because these things chew away wood really fast. You would even sculpt your wood with them. And you don't have to mess around with your wood forever. Because this is a very fast tool to work with. And also, trying to label things perfect when you build it. This is about as dumb as it can get. It's always good to leave a little bit over that you can work with and try to go perfectly level and make perfect cuts in the beginning. Because in the long run, a little bit extra time, which you can see is not that much. And then you'll get a sanding afterwards. And you can hone this thing down really good. Same thing on the other side. This is the hat rack that I built. It's supposed to have longer things on it. They had one out, but I couldn't get them. I actually ordered them, they got sent back. So, uh, but this is it, it's rubberized. It's got black, I've put, uh, I put plastic dip on it, black plastic dip. Sarah, don't do that when I'm doing a video. Actually, I put black plastic dip on it so it's rubberized. Rounded it out here. Put it down here. Let me see. Got some uh, up here at the top. Yeah, so. Got some nice uh, uh, girdles on. Got some nice uh, legs down here on it that are uh, hold those all the way in it. Streamlined down here too. These are not that bad. Later on, I plan on getting bigger ones. I got it. Not I hung up. This one is not really bad. Okay. You know, later on, I'm going to get bigger ones of these with rubber on. But then I'm going to put four more down here because I'm short one for a hat. And of course, I'll get more hats in the future. Well, so you have right, a lot of hats. So right now, I will take these off so I can try on my hats good and put them on. You want to try on daddy's hat? Good. Okay, first hat. No. First hat is this Bosch hat. First hat is this Bosch hat that I've had forever. Right here. Got this for free, actually. And this one, I like this. And the next hat is this one here. And this one here is another good hat. Right here. This one up on this side, and then I've uh, got this one my wife already tried it on, because so I'll put it on too. And, and collection of Mario hats. I don't know why you got Luigi. Luigi, Mario, 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 and. Well, Luigi. the story behind these Mario hats are this one is washed. This Mario hat's big and fluffy, and that Luigi hat's big and fluffy. So what I did was I bought the, I ordered, had ordered it, had ordered the Mario hat, and then after that, then after I ordered the Mario hat, I ordered a Luigi hat. But they didn't send a Luigi hat; they sent another Mario hat. So I had to get on to them about it, and then ordered the Luigi hat, and they finally sent it. But when I seen this, 
Mario hat that is not fluffy like these and fits more like a baseball cap. And I bought this one because this one is more, you can wear it outside pretty much. But this one here, you can also wear it outside because it's big and fluffy. It looks kind of, kind of funny. But uh, this one's cinched up because it's okay. bigger than the other ones. So you can tell the difference. In those. Okay, huh? I better see. And here's the other one. There's two of these. There's two of these. One's going to go. Actually, I should put. I'll put it down here. Good, And then the Luigi hat. Because I'm missing a hook, I'm going to have to get another hook. And uh, I actually put one of these Mario hats up here. And then uh, I'm going to get another hook. Uh, okay, let's see. I try on all the hats. See now, it's your turn. And now it's Yara's turn to try all the hats. Give it to her, Daddy. Go there and beside Daddy. Hurry. Let's try all these one time. Wow, she is a Jasmine today. Luigi She wear a Luigi Jasmine. She Luigi Jasmine. Luigi Jasmine. All right. Try the Mario. Oh, Mario. A Mario. Now you are Mario Jasmine. Post like a model. More. More. <laughs> okay, more. Backward is can see daddy. Okay, now the Russian hat. Pus I have a Russian doll. Uh, yeah, you're like a Russian Jasmine. She's a Russian Jasmine. Is it a Mario hat? Now she become a Mario hat again, a Mario Jasmine. I'll be one Mario hat less if I got the Luigi hat the first time. I emailed the people where I bought the hat and told them what's wrong with it and don't know the difference in Mario and Luigi. <laughs> a Mario again. Alright. Then the other hat, that one, other one. She looked good in the other one today. Yeah, that one. And that one is. I won't get this one trying to try the other one on the same. Look at the camera. That's a hat I got for free when I bought some tools. Yeah, that's a Bush years, hat. Years ago. From Bush. It's not sponsored, but it's a free from the hardware store. <laughs> okay, now the other two. Wow. She's a sailor jasmine. Because that's a sailor type of hat. And that one for gorgeous looking Jasmine. A camping hat. A camping hat. For gorgeous people. Turn around. <laughs> okay, turn to the right. Turn to the left. Turn to your right again. Turn to your back. And pose like a model. And dance like a Jasmine. Why it is like that? I do it again. And okay, that day your turn. And now that is it for this. I'll, I'm thinking it'll be done to the later since I have a few more of these on. Get this other hat on it. Get and, and, uh, take a video. Make room for like two, four. Make room for four more hats or three. I got do. this one here I got to put on it. And uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. Check the description below for the Patreon. The and hit the bell button. For the Patreon and the Etsy store. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. When I play with Sierra, sometimes I'm Mario. But, because it's only one of them, sometimes I'm also Luigi. Put it down. But, I could never be both. It's actually a third Mario pad. I don't know where it is. It's with the other lost pants. And you are, sometimes, a yellow princess and a pink princess. Oh. And your mother is the blue of the lazy princess. That's not true, it's a joke. I'm lazy? No! Oh. <laughs> it's a lot of jokes. Oh, okay.